Liz Manuel Corpus, an official of the Departmental Health Secretariat, asks all the islanders to take extreme biosecurity measures such as the use of masks, frequent hand washing, disinfection of common areas of the houses, disinfection of purchases, not to go out if it's not necessary, older adults and children, and also to continue to be isolated. Taking into account that in our country, we have not yet reached the peak of the pandemic and that we continue to be in danger. We are still at high risk because in the country we are not excluded. We have not reached the peak of the pandemic. The peak of the pandemic will be reached in mid-August and is being seen by relationists for that each person who is affected with the COVID has the potential to infect five more people. At the level of Colombia, we are seeing that the behavior is two or one person. But in addition to that, it's seen that the virus can present a mutation that makes it more and more aggressive that facilitates the infection. The professional in the same way calculates when the peak of the pandemic will be reached and that in addition, let's remember that 30% of our population has hypertension, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, kidney disease, and a high level of cancer. It's being calculated that epidemiologically in the country we are Colombia, there will be approximately at the end of year 35,000 deaths by COVID-19. Then also the other myth is that they only die in the COVID. They don't die by other things. It is important always, as is being said, if a person has a comorbidity of hypertension, diabetes, cancer, or an immunosuppressor disease, is in more risk that the COVID can cause death because it attacks the immune system. Finally, Manuel states that the virus is true and that by ignoring and pretending it is a lie is a great danger to the community. The message to the entire community of San Andres, Providence and Kiklina is that as a citizen and as also as a health professional is that we should be aware that the control of this COVID-19 epidemic in the department is in the hands of each one of us. The state has already designed some policies, some restrictions, but literally the pandemic is calling us to a citizen culture to extreme measures of biosecurity. In the sense that the COVID is circulating in the archipelago department is not an invention, is not a lie. To collect more money, it is a reality. We remember that to date our department has had 20 cases of COVID-19. 17 of them recovered, two active in the island and one active in the city of Bogota.